Hong Kong's coastline stretches for 500 miles. For years, its beaches teemed with life. Now, most are deserted and all of them threatened. Ting Kok is one of the few remaining healthy shores. Mudskippers are fish which can walk and breathe out of water. They're still sufficiently common to compete for space with resident crabs. The strange acrobatics of these dragon-like creatures serve as a territorial display and one of courtship at the same time. Several species of crab inhabit the beach, each with their own technique of intimidating rivals and attracting a mate. When the tide has gone out, thousands of soldier crabs emerge from the sand until the whole seashore appears to be crawling. march up and down the beach in great armies, sifting the sand for edible material. When the tide turns, the crabs retreat. It will soon be time to disappear below ground again. The grey-rumped sandpiper is a long-distance migrant. It stops off in Hong Kong to refuel, and crabs make a welcome meal. In response to the turning tide, the crabs corkscrew out of sight in seconds.
This crab has left it a little late, and its struggle has not gone unnoticed. The sand octopus lives inside an empty clam shell. It's one of the smallest of its kind, but to a soldier crab, it's still a deadly enemy. Eight tentacles equipped with rows of suction pads ensure there's no escape. When the tides are high and the moon is full, giant king crabs head for a remote sandy beach on Hong Kong's western shore. In 18 inches of water, the female lays and buries her eggs in the sand. At the same time, the male, clasped to her back, fertilizes them. King crabs are not crustaceans, as their name suggests, but prehistoric members of the spider family. The larger females are often 16 inches across, about the size of a dustbin lid. This pair could be one of the last to breed in Hong Kong. A new road runs along the west coast, opening up the area. Before long, hordes of day-trippers will descend on these deserted beaches. They will almost certainly drive the king crabs away, and any which do return will stand little chance. The Chinese eat the crabs and their eggs as an aphrodisiac. The future for Hong Kong's coastline looks bleak, but in the hills beyond, unexpected stretches of unspoiled countryside still exist. Hong Kong sits just below the Tropic of Cancer, in summer, the temperature can soar to over 40 degrees centigrade, yet the land is surprisingly lush. This is because the hot summer months coincide with the typhoon season. Clouds blow in from the Pacific Ocean, laden with moisture. When the warm, damp air is forced up over the rolling hills, the vapor condenses and a tropical storm breaks. Within hours, streams become tumbling torrents and numerous waterfalls find a new lease of life. The deluges rarely last long and the floods subside as quickly as they arise. But surviving in such unpredictable conditions calls for some special adaptations. The Hong Kong Cascade Frog has suction pads on the end of each toe so it can cling to slippery rocks. The green cascade frog is another species found only in these mountain streams.
below the falls, the water is turbulent but clear and well oxygenated. The zebra loach is one of the few fish which is adapted to these conditions. In fact, it's so specialized it can't survive anywhere else. Its lower fins are enlarged and flattened to form suckers on the underside of its body. Securely attached, it creeps over the boulders, grazing on algae. Long-armed shrimps wedge themselves in cracks and crevices when the river is in spate. Their elongated forelegs are used to prise debris from beneath rocks. And during territorial squabbles, their pincers become effective weapons.